In this video, we're going to see how to access Google Drive with Talent. We're going to use this Google Drive and job with a component T Google Drive connection to establish the connection and T Google Drive list as an example to list the contents of a folder. All right, and the steps uh, I, that are necessary, I mentioned here in a note component, but don't worry, we will go through that step by step and we will do that together and we will not use any paid products, okay, by the way. So this is the uh, complete end job. I can not execute that here because I deleted the client that I used it to create and this one, but we're going to create this together from scratch. I already got a small document open here, which says, okay, go first to drive.google.com. Okay, I've got this tab already open and I created a talent folder just for this demonstration purpose with uh, some of the files inside it that are from the files that I gave you with the course. Okay, so create a folder, uh, upload and there whatever you want, some files, and then you go to this page, console.cloud.google.com, where I'm already, okay, I just added this uh, language tag here at the end, so it's showing it to you in English. And the first thing that you have to do there, uh, after uh, signing in to your Google account, is uh, select a project. If you don't have a project, you have to create a new project here, okay. Uh, just uh, leave the ID and the organization as is and click on create. Okay, it may take a second for the project to be uh, created. All right, and there is the project. I say select project. And once we selected the project, we can go to APIs and services here on the left hand side with a small API uh, icon. Okay, and we can click on Enable APIs and Services. What API do we want to enable? We want to enable Google and Drive API, right? So it's this one here. I click on that. I click on Enable. Like the project creation, this may also take a moment. Okay, and now we are on a page where it says here, uh, create credentials for and this API to use and this API. Okay, I click on that. And before we actually, uh, no, before we actually, sorry, I will go back. I will click on credentials here on the left hand side. Uh, before we do that, before we create a credentials uh, to access this uh, Google Drive API, we will do this thing here, configure consent screen. Okay, so click on this one and then say it's an external user type, say create. Here we get the app and name, it's talent and it's the email that I use to use on Google. And then we also have to give a developer contact information that will provide the same email address again. Save and continue. And in the subsequent steps, you can just click on the save and continue. And when you get to the summary, click on back to dashboard. All right, so now the next thing is, and this app is ready to go, but we have to publish it. So click on publish app and confirm this. And now we go back here on the left hand side to the small a key symbol where it says credentials. And now we select the option here on the top left side, create credentials. And in the option we use here is OAuth client ID. Right, now we get to select an application type. It's a desktop app. Uh, we can call that, for example, a talent client one. Click on create. And here we now can download the uh, access information. I prefer to copy this client ID because I prepared that here already. This is what we are going to use in a second in talent and the client secret that we are going to use. Okay. With this you confirm on OK and we can now switch over to talent and do what's necessary in talent. Let me close this end job. And here we go to metadata. In metadata, we also have an entry which is called Google Drive. 
we right click on this one and select a new Google Drive connection. Okay, give it some name and some application and name. For example, talent client one, like we did in uh, Google itself. Here we paste the client secret and here I paste the uh, client ID. Okay, and now we can click on test connection. Have in mind that this opens a, a tab in your browser. You have to give a select a respective account first where you created that. Go to advanced here and say open a talent and then set check this box to give it permission and say continue. Now it's saying I can close this window and in talent it's saying connection was established successfully. So I can give it another name, Talent Drive 2, in order to be able to create that. And now we can click on Finish. All right, now I got this Talent Drive 2 connection here. And this is what we're going to use in a job. All right, a job name I already prepared here as well. The job name here is on, pro on the folder Process Other Formants. I will select Create Job. Job name is Google Drive two or maybe three, I had it two already, and I click on finish. All right, now what we're going to use first of all is this talent drive to connection. We drag and drop this to our job and convert it into T Google Drive connection. Okay, and this one should be connected to, to a pre-jump component. So it's making sure that always uh, whatever else comes in the job, we are first establishing in the connection. And here, in order to see in the name, the unique name of the component, uh, as well in the interface, I will copy in this part in the view tab and put that here. Okay, and delete and just this one. So we will see that we are going to use, we are using here T Google Drive connection and it's called a talent and drive and two. Okay, maybe we put this into uh, double quotes. All right, now we give this a title and uh, connect to Google uh, Drive. All right, and the next thing I want to do here is uh, read uh, from uh, Google Drive. Okay, so I take this uh, connection uh, in the repository again, drag and drop that into my job and convert that into T Google Drive list, which is very similar to a file list component. Uh, but with the difference that it gives us the, directly a data stream with the content of a certain folder in Google Drive. Okay, and we can say that it's not using this component for the connection, but the T Google Drive connection component. So in the connection component, select this one. And here we have to provide in the folder name. In my case, in the folder name is talent and the rest is fine. I just want to look at files in this a directory and, and nothing else. So I connect this to a log row component. Uh, and here I will also do the same change on the view tab, okay. So that's going to show the name of the component itself. All right, so just copy and paste that from the other component. So it's, as uh, you see in the interface here, that is what you're using is T Google Drive list component and it's called T Talent Drive and two. Okay, and then we're going to pass this information. As I said before, it's not an iteration, it's directly a data stream with a fixed um, a schema to a logo component. This logo component should output in the content in and table mode. And now we can run this job to see the respective result on the console. Okay, don't get worried, there are some warnings in the component itself but it's warnings uh, for the component, as I said, and here we got the names of our files and a lot of other information that we could uh, continue uh, using in our job to do whatever we want. And that's not all that you can do with Google Drive, okay? If you search in the palette for Google Drive, uh, you can see that there are a lot of Google Drive uh, components, right? It's, uh, for example, Google Drive put we could use to uh, upload a file to Google Drive to get is uh, use the get component, create and delete copy, and um, some other things. All right, but that's answering the question of how to 
Access, Google Drive und with Talent.